Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. And we are trying to save the city from the siege. And we managed to take out Rome Battalion last time. But it's gonna be damn hard. And apparently we are saving Demovend or maybe looking for help from Demovend. I don't know if Demovend is in there. Uh, hey guys. No way! Wow, I, I don't have any comebacks to that. Son of a bitch. Oh, what? You're approaching an important moment in your journey. If you choose to continue, you will not be able to resume any unfinished activity in this area. Uh... Okay. What? I only want so many... Fine! I had a lot of short battles, but apparently not a lot of standard battles. I wasn't the best about finding the gold chests. But I, I thought I was quite thorough. I I don't think there's anything to do here. Let's continue. Gods have mercy. And demons take it all. Is that the uh, cow catapult? Wait, that's a way too many trebuchets. Come on. Taking advantage of the confusion, Meave maneuvered her troops to the very walls of the old town. Spying Lyrian banners, the defenders suspected a trap. But when they noticed Black Railer among them, they immediately lowered the drawbridge. Oh, the Black Railer, popular. Was a maze of brothels and shady taverns. In normal times, students and other pleasure seekers prowled its dark alleys. Now, tired soldiers slumped in every corner. Though the Lyrians' arrival clearly buoyed their spirits. The Fraternal Realm's warriors clasped each other's hands and swapped tales. Even Eden's King, Demovend, made no secret of his pleasure at seeing these unexpected arrivals. Me, Of all the besieged cities in all the world, you walk into mine. Come to the rescue, have you? No, I, I came to uh, get laid. I heard the brothers are pretty good here. To be quite frank, I've come to be rescued. By a damsel in distress? I heard that this place is on fire! I I, I just assumed that it's like, you know, it's just really good. But I, I didn't know that it was like literally on fire, but... Well... I hope the, <clears throat> the brothers are still open. The whorehouses. Them event? Do you know about that? You kind of look like a guy who, uh, you know, visits them from time to time. Oh, yes. I've heard much of the events in Lyria. Disgraceful. Such betrayal. However, as you might have noticed, things are none too rosy here either. I don't know. I, I think the reception is quite warm here, so. Yes, that is hard to miss. Wow, this is awkward. Reinhardt! Come on, save this conversation! State something obvious! I thought we'd trade blows with the Blackclads. That it would be an even match. Um, okay. Well, that was not the case. Two weeks. That sufficed to annihilate the army I'd spent my whole lifetime building. Your Majesty, I cannot say what fate will bring. If we shall reach this war's end alive. But I wish to say now that I admire you. Nice one, Reynard. You said nothing, but then you sucked up to him. Perfect. Alright. Exactly what we needed to, to save the conversation. Good job. I'm, I'm winking at you, just in case you can't tell. Oh. Yeah, that is, that is correct. You evacuated the city, yet refused to evacuate yourself. You fight to the bitter end. Like a hero. Oh, nice. Exactly. Like a hero. But of course. A king must lead by example, after all. Especially in war. Well, I... I fine. It's a little foolish on your... Fine. I don't, I don't know if I would call it heroic or stupid, but... Fine. Reynard. That rumbling, you hear it? Studied boots on cobblestones. The Nilf Guardians. Prepare the men for battle. I don't hear anything other than the fire. Yes, Your Grace. 
So, now that we're alone, what's really going on? Oh, nice one, Beef. You told Reynard to fuck off. <laughs> prepare the man for battle. Like, we need to prepare for that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Alright. Time to spill the beans, demo band. What's up? What? Did you not hear? I'm defending my capital. Like a hero. It doesn't doesn't look like it. Don't feed the mad rubbish. Come on. You're just here trying to take advantage of the hospitality of the hospitality of the horse. From the very last second. You have nowhere to run. People are just gonna find you anyway. Oh come on, look at how you're dressed. That's just ridiculous. Don't feed me the rubbish. I'm not buying it. Come on, that, that's just stupid. I don't care if you're like a hero, that's just a stupid move. Like, you just cannot win, and it just makes no sense. If anything, they might, the fact that they capture you might be even worse. They might just use you as a puppet. You know, they just throw you and like, I don't know, maybe they just establish some legitimate government with your, uh, with your hand in it. Maybe like, then one is gonna say like, oh yeah, uh, I totally want the Day of Guardians here. I'm not saying anything, but like, point is staying here just uh, doesn't really uh, do anything. Demovend, please don't feed me that drivel. We've known each other far too long. Why did you stay? Uh, Where to go? Eve, as meddling as you are beautiful. Oh come on! I'm not one of your horse. See that building? That one there. Which one? The one on fire, or the one that's not on fire? Oh, come on, don't point at the whorehouse again. The brothel? The oh my god, I was right. I was right all along. <laughs> Holy shit. Were you getting laid? Precisely. So, I promise not to laugh. I'm a patron. A loyal one, in fact. One of the girls there, Demaretta. <laughs> uh, uh, she's what? marvelous. Makes me feel young again. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, demo van. I'm not judging. You wanna get laid to the very last second. You wanna know you're gonna die and and just spend time in the brothel. If anything, I, that just makes me respect you. Come on, do you wanna join up with my party? Oh, nice, Demoretta. That's 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 a weird name because it kind of sounds like your name. Like, what what the hell is going on with that? Is that like a common name around here? Doesn't sound like it. Did you did you actually make the girl change her name to Demoretta? Or like her name does have anything to do with you you liking her? I don't know. It just it just sounds too similar to be a coincidence. Demo vent. So what's up with that? But yeah. <laughs> I would just I would just 100 making jokes here. Because, hey, I just want to have some fun. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm right. Oh. A young fool, you mean. Demoven, there's a war on, and... Hey, hey, bro, I just want to get laid. Allow Come. me to finish. Demoretta became, well, with what? child. Exactly nine months ago. Understand now? Oh, no, no way. You knocked up a girl? Wow, I'm so surprised. She's entered confinement, having contractions. Oh. But that's even more of a reason to go away now, or... What? Don't you just want to go away? You can just go away with your whore. Uh, that's kind of like uh, you're starting a family with, maybe? I don't know. Since yesterday. You see, I cannot leave her like this. Can't have her moved. I must stay put until she gives birth. It does seem like it's a pretty bad space, pretty bad location, you know? I would chance the, the, you know, the, you know, the wagon, in your case. Because, you know, the whole town is getting invaded by the of Guardians, and it's on fire. Time event, you know? I think chancing the move, and maybe she's gonna lose the child. Uh, I think that's sensible. And then what? Pray tell. Invite all of Nilfgaard to the christening? Well, we're not doing that. No, my dear. There is a hidden tunnel deep beneath the city, leading far beyond its walls. 
Once the midwives cut the cord, we flee. <laughs> the hammer went. Great. That's the big plan. <laughs> Bro, bastard, you risk an entire army. This is folly, indeed. Yeah, exactly. All your men is going to die just because you... <laughs> wow. It's pretty obvious what's going on here. I understand. Children are life's greatest treasure. I mean, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. That's fine by me. But it's it's it is. We're a bastard. I I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't call it a bastard because that's just a dick thing to do. Honestly, I think that's just a dick thing to do. Uh. You know, but like risking other people's life for it. I don't know. Entire armor. This is folly indeed. If not for the wording, I would be more tempted to, to choose the the first option. But the second option just sounds too naive. So I, I guess we're gonna go with the first one. Demovend, you risk the lives of thousands of men for a single child, for a bastard to boot. What? Well, well, come on. Have you looked at my horde? Uh. Whore called Demovendia, or kind of sounds like that. It's kind of my name, you know. What's not to love? Meave, I would kill thousands of men for my child, born in wedlock or out. It changes nothing. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I, I get it, but still, you're risking the life of a lot of other people. It's. I'm not questioning your commitment. That's totally fine. But once you actually risk the life of so many other people, then yes, uh, then we got a problem, I suppose. It changes everything. One way the babe inherits the throne, the other. What? Oh, you argue succession while I speak of a father's love. But I shouldn't expect you to understand. Your heart, ice through and through, always has been. No wonder, villain. <laughs> oh, you went there? Me and Willem are tight. Ma well, maybe not as tight these days. Come on, what's your point? Your Majesties, the Milk Guardians are attacking. <laughs> oh no, Reinhard, you put on your helmet. It kind of looks like you put in the put it on the wrong way. That just even proves that you're you're s twice as ready. You you're just so ready. You don't even care which way your helmet is on. Let's go. Meave, we must hold out. A few hours, that's all. I'll do what I can. Eliminate enough Nozick brigades to give them when time to escape. Okay. Extra cards. Wait. Puzzle or battle? Re really hoped it's not a puzzle. <laughs> oh man. Uh, wait, is it a free round? Wait, I'm defending now? I don't know how long this is gonna be. Okay, fine, let's do this. Well, I just assume that this is a shortened battle. Is it not? It's not. It's a standard battle. It's on fire its row. Destroy the castle gate. Heavy fire scorpion. We can't kill that. Can I kill that? My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. I warned you. Do what? If you could fight the heavy scorpion, that would be nice.
There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Oh, what is gonna happen here? I don't think the Nausicaa Brigades can go in. I want their hedge! Anvalnen order! Okay. So the castle gate will blow up. <clears throat> I can't really deal with the fire scorpion. Not even with duel. Can I just move guys into the front? Oh, never mind that. You can only push guys into the back. Neve! They're getting close! Devils take all! Help me! Mm. Fine. I would like to spawn a fire scorpion on its row. Or fire on its row. That would be great. No, that's actually... Wait! Oh, he spawns the fire? Oh, we're in trouble. Neve! We must hold on a bit longer! Yeah, I see we got a problem here. Unfortunately, I don't have fire myself. Regiment drummer. Again and again and again. You can just punch the duelers. Wait, the fire triggers every turn? That's kind of bullshit. Gotta blow up the catapult. Give me a target. Enough chit chat. Draw your weapon. Okay, he passed. That means I gotta pass right now. That was a tough round one. Wait, those are all resilient? Holy shit. Well, I'm gonna draw three cards, I, I believe. So, I can pass now, and those are... Going to be lost. Wait, this is permanent resilience, right? Fuck. These are resilient as well. Wait, can he kill it? What the fuck? Is that is saving? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? I didn't expect this. Holy shit! He killed me round two. And also, we should totally blow up the catapult. That has to happen. Oh, we got a fire guy now. That's gonna help. I don't know how many arbalists we should have. 
Okay, maybe that's gonna work. Seems like a doable hand. This harvest will be reaping black clad. Okay, that should be decent. I would love to set fire to the back row. You can also set fire to the front row, because currently there's just a lot of stuff in there. Sight, man. My spirit's willing and how gonna move these guys in the back. Neve, they're getting close. Devils take all. Help me. Okay. Barbarians. If he had something big, that would be a lot better. One thing that's really big. I can just do Rivium. Maybe I can do Rivium Pikeman in the back. No, that, that would be too much. For Rivia! I could have just played the Archer. Just hold on a bit longer. Okay, I'm passing. So I guess we gotta fight round two, just to not lose demo bent. And he's gonna have some Brazilian guys. Seven units in the deck. It's quite a lot. Reynard Lou is nice. Uh, fine. I gotta put units next to demo vent. It's less likely that he, he gets hit. Can't kill the heavy fire scorpion. I'll ultimately it's just points now, so it doesn't matter too much. Pull down of three. Pull down of one. Abolist to your command. Okay, yeah, let's say we kill that. We need more fat points. It is possible that if demo vent drops too low, we can boost Aye. it. Uh, with the uh, Lyrium Merlot. All the Fire Scorpies target demo vent, or is it gonna target the Archer? No, demo vent gets targeted. So, if I... Oh, we can't do anything here. RNG is gonna come in. Apparently he can't use the Fire Scorpion anymore. So, if I kill... Wait, we should still do the Lyrium Merlot. 
so we don't lose demo vent. He's not gonna use that, even if he's a bot. Yeah. That helped us a lot. No! Let's <laughs> It worked! Now retreat to the tunnel! Alright! We're good! Woo! Oh, that big hill helped a lot. We saved Devil Vend and his home. Poor. managed to hold oh, the old town long enough for Demoretta to bear the king's Demoretta. offspring. A healthy, hardy boy. When the midwife slapped the infant, his scream carried above the roar of battle. Soon afterwards, the defenders abandoned the walls and left the city through a secret tunnel. The Nilfgaardians, furious that not one but two northern sovereigns were among the escapees, raised Aldersburg to the ground. To the ground. Thank you. If not for you, the devils would have devoured us. Uh, you're welcome, Devil Vent. I should say it was nothing. But the truth is, I need your aid. Well, um, I'm not sure this guy can do it. <laughs> Aid? But you see, my army is no more. I must pull back, regroup. Damn. Pull back? Where to? The golden sun flies over your entire realm. To Redania, to take shelter at the court there. And then? Will you sit and watch the fool juggle apples as Nilfgaard parcels all Eden out to its settlers? Meave, one must know when to fold and when to double down. Nilfgaard has stretched the front. Winter will soon be here. Let the costs claw away at them. That's smart. A year, two, then we strike. And we shall prove the Empire is a colossus with feet of clay. You are a coward. I, it kind of actually sounds like a strategy. But it's also true that now we have a, a good time to... Maybe, maybe I don't know if you have a good time to strike. Nilfgaard doesn't seem that foolish to me that they're just gonna come here and... Uh, <laughs> and it's gonna be easier to take them over in like two years. I don't know. That sounds a little cowardly as well. Again, I would need more information to really know if this is actually a viable... Solution, or is it even a good one? Honestly, it doesn't really matter because it seems like you just want to run away. You're actually you're kind of fine with. You know that it's it's a lost cause for now, and you just want to go away and be with your your girl, and that's it. I'm not sure what you can do, even if I call you a coward. So do as you see fit. Fine. Do as you see fit. And you? Oh, I will be hacking at them, killing everybody. I can't live like that. So what should <gasps> you do instead? Fight on. Until I win. Or the black-clad curs tear me apart. Gods. Such pity I have for your husband. Poor man must have had a rough go of it. <laughs> oh man. He seemed content with his life while it lasted. <laughs> Yet I'm serious, Demavend, in my request. You truly won't aid me. Provide nothing at all. At this point, our best bet is that he's gonna help us, whatever way he feels comfortable. Just insulting him will not get me any closer uh, to my goal. <clears throat> uh, sure. I will tell my men whoever so wishes can join your party and fight on. But please, curb your excitement. They are tired. Few will choose the path of greater resistance. Hmm. That's fine by me, because those who are not in it for the long haul, 
are are just not in. But, but, but. Are you familiar with the saying, when at wit's end, a dwarf's your friend? <laughs> what? <laughs> are you are you trying to use a uh, saying that's figurative to some to something that's going to be literal? Are you are you suggesting a dwarven alliance? Yes, it and many others. Yet as much as I appreciate folk wisdom, I prefer facts to philosophy at the moment. Preferably facts relevant to my situation. So? How about this? Mahakam is but a week's ride from here. <gasps> and there you'll find thousands of dwarves armed to the teeth. Enough to turn the tides of this war, I venture. Oh, nice! We're going to Mahakam! Yes, they could. If not for another fact. That the dwarves have always been famously indifferent to strife between humans. They'll never come to my aid. <laughs> I doubt they'll even let me into their land. Will that stop you? Demovend is actually giving you an option that can actually work. Well, it's worth considering. I know it's 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 a tough one, but if it works, you're gonna have an army. Unless you show them this, the leaden ring, a token of amity given to me by the elder in chief. Ooh, you have a s special ring. That's not to say they'll welcome you with open arms, but they will hear you out, and that is something. Hmm. Dwarven infantry I'd make good use of. I shall do as you say. Or at least try. I like you, Demovent. I like you a lot. Good. And to ease your journey somewhat, I'll give you as your guide the best man. Or rather woman. For what? the task. Rayla! Well, she's already with me. I thought you're gonna give me your, um, your whore. No, no, no. I mean, <clears throat> definitely not. Yes, your grace. You've been to Mahakam with me many times. You know their paths. Take Queen Meave and her party there. It would be an honor, your majesty. I'll send messages ahead that the dwarves may expect your arrival. Until then, good luck, Meave. And may we one day waltz upon the grave of our foe, Emperor Emir. Aye. May it be so. Just as long as I get to lead. <laughs> oh my god, Beeb. Come on. Can you go one line without betraying the fact that you are power hungry? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> of course. Farewell. Jesus Christ. Meave left Aldersburg in ill spirits. Rather than provide the help she had hoped for, Demavend had merely sent her on to Mahakam. Her way west was lit first by the glow of a burning city, then by the smoldering remains of charred villages by the roadside. It was clear the war against Nilfgaard had taken a bitter turn. Each stranger was now treated as an enemy and the customarily hospitable Adernians slammed their doors at anyone's approach. The party's morale was somber as well, and did not even improve with the first sight of mountains looming in the distance. Wandering among the ashes, Meave entered the dwarves' domain. Don't I have a royal decree now? I guess I'm gonna check that out. Along perilously steep paths, Black Rayla led the Queen and company towards Mahakam, the dwarven homeland. There, among snow-capped peaks, someone awaited. Rayla, you brought strangers! Gabor, I present to you Maeve, Queen of Lyria and Rivia. Ah, a queen! Crivens! Well then! A large shadow swept across the sky. The dwarf swallowed the rest of his greeting as all raised their gazes to see a dragon soar swiftly toward Mount Carbon. Keltilus, don't you be afeard. He isn't a threat to us. The dwarf had broken the silence gently, he himself quite familiar with this altogether unusual sight. And now, sit yourselves down before the pottage grows cold. 
Okay. I Dragons? But Fluke. Drake. Raina, you idiot! What the fuck is that? Um I'm sorry, I apologize on behalf of my uh <coughs> odd friend. Stone shriveling marvel in it. Makes you almost sad the lizards are dying out. No, no really. Should you not worry more about the fate of your brethren? That creature will soon have all Mahakam aflame. Ha! Keltalus? No! He's lived here centuries. Harmless for the most part. Now, your grace. A taste. Keltal is harmless. How so? No, none. Though your offer of repast I value, good sir. Oh, oh no need of that. Gabor, please. Enchanted to make your acquaintance. Gabor here's a true local notable from one of Mahakam's leading clans, the Zigrins. But then he wouldn't be our guide if he wasn't. A guide for all important guests. A pleasure. And as I said, I thank you for your hospitality, but I've no time to feast now. I must speak to your ruler at once. Hmm. Don't mean no offence, but Elder in Chief Bruverhoog's a recluse of sorts, as humans go. Didn't even meet the ones that wear crowns. But I suppose I could, meaning if you drafted a letter. Oh, you want a letter? Oh, we can do that. Her Majesty's got Demaven's signet, given willingly. Wow, that's pretty important to add. Ah. Well, that's a sheep of a different sort. We didn't let many human folk into Mahakam, and for good reason. So those who we let come through the second gate get blindfolded. Just after they've surrendered their arms at the first. But you've the leaden ring. Given one of your kind to confirm trust and amity. So, we're certain we can treat you as one of our own. Elder and Chief's in the past visiting. Look into his flock. Come on. No reason you two shouldn't he jabber right quick. Though the Lyrian infantry rose half an ell taller than the dwarf, he moved with remarkable ease through the waist-high snow, while those behind him slipped and stumbled on the ice-slick rocks. Neve and Rayla trailed the party, so they might speak in private. Sometimes the game just has these, uh... I don't even know what to call them at this point. Just, like, non-stop cutscenes, but they also, like, kind of interactive dialogues as well, so... But they go on for so long. Oh. Oh, Gabor joined the party. <clears throat> uh, did the story that already read that? I'm grateful. You dislike non-humans? I thought. The ring? How did it... Win? No, no, no. I'm grateful, Rayla. That's nice. Rayla, your aid proved an unexpected bounty. Your Grace, to fight arm in arm with one so bold as you is an honor, an honor from which I'll not readily resign. I was to lead you to Mahakam, King Demaven's order. As to my duties afterwards, I receive no instructions. Kill the dwarves! So until a sealed scroll containing such arrives, I will serve your Grace under her command. Always. I have always room for those of your ilk in my ranks. That just uh, seems unnecessarily general. Why can't I just say that at personally? Like, I will always... you No, no. You will always be welcome at my side. Or something like that. Even that doesn't seem too personal. But saying that I always have use for people like you in my, my army. That seems just uh, unnecessarily impersonal. No, no, no. You're you're very welcome. I'm content, Rayla. The times are such what? that no aid can I dismiss, and yours in particular. I've chosen one evil. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I'm humbled, Your Grace. Let us move on. I've grown amply curious of this elder in chief, this Bruva Hoog. Oh, nice. Okay. I have a message. For your eyes only. Okay. 
Is that it? Oh no. We got like a proper Mahakam. Is it gonna be at the end? Yeah, probably it's gonna be at the end. The very end. Main quest. Alright, we are heading to Mahakam. Trying to meet the Brugger Hook. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.